Hello once again, this is Druva from A Sprinkle of Sugar. Today I will be showing you how to make chocolate and strawberry skinny burnt cheesecake. A twist on the popular Basque burnt cheesecake. This is a very simple but yet very delicious recipe that's bound to be enjoyed as a simple snack or at large gatherings alike. Now without wait, let's begin. To start off, let's gather our ingredients together. For this recipe, we need 8 ounces of cream cheese, about 10 strawberries, 2 bowls of 3 fourths of a cup of white sugar, half of a standard sized baking bar, 3 fourths of a cup of heavy cream, 2 tablespoons of flour, 2 eggs if you're using the yolk, 3 if you're not, a pinch of salt, and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Let's begin. For step 1, let's prepare our pans. First, we have to take a stick of butter and smear the butter on the bottom of both of the pans. Then we have to take parchment paper and put it on top, and then smear butter on top of that as well, once the parchment paper is firmly stuck onto the bottom of the pan. Now that your pans are ready, you can set them aside. Next, we have to crack our eggs, which we'll be using later in the recipe. Now let's melt our chocolate. To do this, simply place your bowl of chocolate in a pan or pot of boiling water and leave it for about 5 minutes. Then take it out and set it aside for later use in the recipe. Now let's cut our strawberries which I did off camera and grind them into paste. We will be using this for when we need to make our strawberry sauce. to make our strawberry sweet sauce. For this, just simply take your strawberry puree and add it into a pan, and then take one of the bowls of sugar that you have and add that in as well, and mix the two together. Leave it on the stove for roughly 5 minutes, and then once the strawberry sweet sauce is a nice dark red color, take it out and set it aside. part of our sixth step, we have to take our vanilla extract, eggs, and heavy cream and mix them in a bowl. Then we have to take our cream cheese and place it in that bowl as well. We will be moving all of this to a larger bowl soon. Now we have to move the contents of the other bowl into a larger and deeper bowl and then use an electric mixer to make the batter nice and fluffy. After it's nice and fluffy, we can also proceed to add in our flour, our sugar, and our salt, and we can mix it some more. We're getting very close to the end. For this step, we have to take our batter that we now have and separate it into two bowls. For our 8th step, we can take our two bowls of batter and pour them into their respective pans. We can then take our chocolate and strawberries and swirl those in as well. But if you would like to just completely mix them in as opposed to swirling them, you can do that as well. Last and final step, simply bake both cakes in the oven for about 50 minutes. And we are done. Thank you so much for watching and as always, make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment in the comment section below. What do you want us to make for our next recipe?
and make sure to follow us on Instagram at a sprinkle of sugar official. Goodbye.